I've been waiting for you, man. Any updates? Got him on national TV. Listen up. Servants. Whatever is happening in Rachel is currently beyond our understanding. Whoops. Hold it. Yeah, Foster was too damn jumpy. You were right. What happened? I usually am. We have no reason to think that there will be any recurrence of the incident. Our thoughts and prayers go out to that. All right, move. I'm coming over. Give me a couple of minutes. I gotta wrap up something real quick. There are still no hard facts regarding the cause of the terrible accident that took place this morning in the town of Rachel, Nevada. A school bus carrying 40 students from Clover High School overturned, turning what should have been an ordinary school trip into a tragedy. Unfortunately, two deaths have already been confirmed. At the time of the accident, a series of unexplained tremors were reported in the neighboring area, causing extensive damage to buildings and a growing sense of alarm among local residents. The causes of the incident are still unknown. The town is famous all over the world for local urban legends featuring alleged supernatural phenomena and for its proximity to Groom Lake USAF Light Development Center, better known as Area 51, making the town a popular tourist destination. That's the green light from the DOD. Finally, we're good to go. It's code red. It only took them 10 hours to figure it out. They must have pulled out all the stops. Let me guess. Are we leaving? Damn straight. Get your ass off that chair. Foster's orders. It's effective immediately, and you do not want to keep him waiting. At your command, Major. What are you doing? I have a surprise for you. A prototype from my college days. I abandoned it a while back, but I just started working on it again. What the hell is that? That's gratitude for you. Come on, give me your arm. I needed to test the device. So, what do you think? Data interchange device. D-I-D. It detects your location in real time. Are you sure this thing won't rip my arm off? Come on, give me a break. I'll need it to keep track of your ass when you get lost. I'm gonna rendezvous with Foster. Join us at the heliport. We leave in a few minutes. Got it.
Hey, Alpha Team is on rest. Leaving the field to the ladies. Grab your weapons, you'll need them. Enjoy the paperwork, then. Enjoy the shitstorm coming your way. Need an umbrella? Very funny. in a good mood. Is that a good sign? At ease, Reyes. We have a code red. With immediate effect and maximum secrecy. Destination, Ariel 51. Don't get carried away. It isn't an episode of your favorite TV show. When you're ready, some of the mission information is classified by order of the Department of Defense. But what you need to know is very simple. We have to meet a certain Dr. Noah Anderson, the only person who managed to communicate with the outside world following the incident. Yeah, who is this Anderson? I don't have all the details. All I know, he's one of the eggheads in charge of the government program they were working on down there. Codename, Project Hoax. I'm no scientist, but I'd say something didn't go according to plan. <laughs> Maybe somebody pressed the wrong button. <laughs> what were they working on? Well, Reyes, that's exactly the kind of question we aren't supposed to ask. The instructions from the DOD were clear. Meet the contact and retrieve the briefcase. That's what you get paid for. That's all you need to know. We have to collect a package, basically. And a package of a certain value, given that the commander's coming along for the ride. That's correct. My personal supervision was requested. I'll fill you in during the flight. Let's move out. There's no time to waste. Overrated. 
You're a case in point, Roddick. You'll be glad soon enough to have me around. Foster doesn't usually get involved. Not if he doesn't have to. Something tells me this isn't gonna be a walk in the park. You don't miss a trick, do you, Raddick? Let's say there's... a tricky internal issue that makes the operation, well, delicate from a diplomatic point of view. Give it to us straight. After Rachel, the President sealed the base for all military forces. Nobody can get in or out except his own men. The HCO's people have been on site for a few hours, escorted by a special squadron reporting directly to him. HCO? Why bring in scientists? I'd be more worried about Section 8. Mr. President's calling the shots. He's trying to get a clear picture. Obviously, the Secretary's hiding something, but... Since he's the one who writes the checks... This is a federal communication from the United States government. Caution. Military permits to enter and cross the no-fly zone are canceled with immediate effect. Reverse Sounds like the president emergency. won't be I welcoming us caution. with open no arms. Yeah, if he doesn't sick his guard dogs on Don't us. Don't worry, we'll soon put his mind at ease. But only after the DOD has secured the contents of that briefcase. That's why it's essential that we locate the contact before them and, if necessary, make their visit a little more eventful. The no-fly zones are canceled with immediate effect. I repeat, caution. Military permits to enter and cross the no flight. This is it. The President's Welcome Committee. Reverse your direction of flight immediately. I repeat, any unauthorized aircraft will be shot down on site. Eyes open. This isn't the welcome I was expecting. You never abandoned a base camp. Something must have happened. Too easy.
They left something behind. Check it out. This is the real deal. Looks like they used it to unlock the security system and access the facility. I don't understand. It looks like it melted. The control panel is gone... gone too. I'll have to find another way. And quickly too. That's why you're here. Find a way to get us in. Okay. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. everything like this. What the fuck was that? Something's going on. I just intercepted a message from God knows where. It didn't sound good. This is getting weird. Eyes open, Reyes. Let's see if I can restore access to the main facility from there. Power supply area. The spider senses are telling me I can reactivate access to the main facility from there. But I'll have to find a way in. Spider AS. I like it.
We need something to reboot the system. The electrical system of the entire facility seems to be damaged, as if there was a major overload. I'm trying to work out what happened. I'll keep you posted. Okay, get a move on. worked. Let's go and see what happened on the lower floor. Sucks having to wait, huh? Hey, Roddick, are you receiving me? Five by five. I've got the electricity back on. If I can access the facility's mainframe, I should be able to take control of the auxiliary generators and bypass security. Yeah, we're glad you're having fun with your toys, MacGyver. Just open this fucking door. <sighs> Troglodytes. I wasn't there before. Let's see what the scanner has to say. If I had an override cable... I could open this door with my eyes closed. Concentrate. There should be a terminal for rebooting the power systems around here somewhere. Everything should be operational. Please confirm. Yeah, I confirm. Doors open now. Reyes, get back here right now. We wasted too much time already. Okay. <laughs> Shit! This electrical system is completely fucked. Blocked by an alarm system. I need a few minutes. We're out of time. I'll see you inside. I'll find a way. Ah, okay. Let's keep in radio contact. Okay. 
Time to open that security door. Advanced research facility. According to the maps of the base, this area shouldn't exist. Good question. Listen, we've been attacked by something. We weren't prepared for this shit. Proceed with extreme caution. What the fuck are you talking about? Section 8? No, there's still no trace of him. We don't know what the hell it is. Let's find this fucking Anderson and get out of here as soon as possible. No sign of life. Radek? Reyes, everything okay? I'm fine, but something is not right here. I found some Section 8 bodies. A couple were burned to death. Christ, those assholes screwed up big time. There are signs of a fight. I wonder what they were trying to escape from. Listen, we're close to that damn briefcase. I don't give a fuck what killed them. I need your ass over here, okay? Understood. On my way.
Damn, nothing works in this place. Hey, Rodak. I'm in a weird laboratory. I found more Section 8 corpses. Yeah, we uh, also found bodies. Fuckers were burned to a crisp. Anyway, we're moving towards our goal. We've located the contact in the completely burned out area. We're heading there now. Okay, I'll join you as soon as I find a way out of here. weird ball of energy just bring it back to life?
Where did they go? 